go back to Memphis. But he, well, the last time I saw him was in San Francisco. So it's like the old song, I Left My Heart in San Francisco by Tony Bennett. Uh, I think about that every time I hear that song because the last time I saw Elvis alive, he was playing the Cow Palace. And he said, honey, you know, I, I know you'd probably like to go back and visit with your family. Why don't you go back to Memphis? I brought the plane in from Memphis, and it's going to take you back tomorrow. And I said, really? You brought the plane in just for me? And he said, yeah, sweetheart. I you know, thought maybe you'd like to visit your family. And I said, yeah, I would. That's fine. But I'm sure you didn't bring the plane in just for me. Are you sure you don't, didn't bring another girl in from Memphis? No, honey, you know I wouldn't do that. And it was just, I remember like looking into his gorgeous blue eyes and he was so sincere and just lying his, <laughs> lying through his teeth like, uh, but this time I made, but this time I made the decision that I would leave Graceland. I did, but for that moment, um, but I, I just didn't want to live like that anymore. I didn't want to live at his whim and beck and call. It was like, you can stay now, you can go now. Now I want you to stay, now I want you to go. It's like pretty soon you just have no sense of yourself anymore. And I think it's an unhealthy situation when you don't have control of your own life. So as much as I loved him and as much as it was painful to leave him, I wrote him a letter and um, quoted the prophet, Khalil Gibran the prophet. I've already known the pain of too much tenderness. I said, you are and will always remain the love of my life. And in all honesty, I don't want to love that way again because I lost myself in him. I just gave so much of myself. So I made the decision to leave Graceland. And, you know, I think he was shocked. I think he was a little shocked and hurt. But I think he understood. And I wanted a normal life. But for that moment, um